five months in the making. There's been a fair bit of work on this one. It's off to the UK, probably about the middle of next week. We've just got a few more minor things to do and it'll be on its way. You can't see them yet, but this has a full set of side lights down the uh, both sides of each trailer. Sort of fix that one, but anyway. Um, it's fully wide. Toolboxes are 3D printed with the handles and that on them. Gate racks, which are gates are obviously on the trailer. Also chrome guards, which we chromed ourselves. It's all powder coated, the whole trailer, including the inserts and the spiders. The batteries are just sitting there because he's running wires himself once he gets it. The batteries, are, the toolboxes are 3D printed. Um, so yeah, just so you can have a bit of a look at our up-to-date work that we're doing now. It's all powder coated, the whole lot, mucked up on the back for him. And that's a look of it down this side. Now the thing that's different is that for starters, Sort of side light for a blinker. So uh, that's on both sides. If I turn the other one on, you'll see it blinking. Now, it's gonna take a lot of battery power to run this, but it's also got all that down each side. The, um, that's why it's taken us probably up to five months to get this done. The powder cutting was the hardest thing. Number plate light number plate with lights on the back is the hardest thing because we kept getting color going into the white it's on the beer infrared system that's a sender on the back trailer that's why it's able to talk to each other sorry if i'm moving too quick and there's also number plates lights on the a trailer as well if i just turn the brakes off the yeah, brakes are off so yeah it's full side lights down each side Three on each side of the A trailer, five on the B trailer, and one blinker on the B trailer as well. So yeah, brake lights. It's only a short video guys, just to show you a bit of an update. I do have um, two more B-doubles I've got to do that are fully wide. They, they're completely black. Um, the gates are 3D printed, the bows are 3D printed. As you can see if I can get it close enough for you. The gate rack, which is sitting right there, as well as the toolboxes are all 3D printed. The rest is stainless and aluminium, including the guards. They're, they come in as black and we chrome them, uh, powder coat chrome. So yeah, it, um, it's taken a fair bit to get where we are. I had to get colours in from the States for the, for the chassis rod. If I just turn the lights off so you can see. The chassis rail, the suspension, have all been powder coated. The tie rails are a two-tone. They've got a silver undercoat with a nice candy blue over the top. So, yeah, and you can, uh, you can just see this receiver there on the a B trailer. I don't know whether you'll see the sender. I don't know I'll get it to focus. It's just in there, but it doesn't want to focus. There it is. You can just see it. So you can have anything on the trailer, which is what I'll show you now. The trailer's lit up, just so you, I'll go that way. I've now stuck the remote, oops, on the A trailer, just so you can't, because there's the sender on the truck. So therefore, the trailers are still working because the A trailer, oh, it's fallen down. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is over there. It is over here. There, it just went out because I've moved the... Ah, no. Power back out. There we go, back on again. Um, if I was to put my finger over that... Oh, it still reads through my fingers, look at that. So, yeah. That's the latest job we had to do. This is off to the UK. The gentleman over there has asked for us to do all the wiring on it. He's just got to run the power leads, which he's going to do himself. As for the toolboxes, Stuart, I think it was, they're on our website. Um, they come in a pack of 10. They're just a little chrome handle on it. They're on the website. Um, should be listed under the Kirk or on the new products. Um, 
So yeah, that's our latest work. The signs can be changed. There's just a bolt screw around the back. Take that one off and put, yeah, put it in, bring it down here. And that's, they're all reflective as well. That's what's left of the sheet that's gonna go to him. So you've obviously got long vehicle, road train or oversize. Just depends on what he's doing. The ring feed amount, even though you can see it because of the lights, is uh, machined out of aluminium, it's not plastic. Like I said, the only thing that's plastic on here are the lights, the light bar on the back of the air trailer, the gates, the gate rack, and the toolbox. Everything else is metal um, throughout. So there's just a lot of work in getting it all machined, painted. Hey Gav, hope you're having a, have a good day tomorrow. That's why I'm not there tomorrow. I've still got more to do on this. But um, as you can see, it's a pretty big, effort we've had it's got a full set of gates i'll just take the remote back out of there it's got a full set of gates on it which it comes with which is in the price when they when he ordered the gates do come out which i might actually start doing so you can see you've got to pull them out and then they slip in if i can get it into the rack so you've got them on board at all times for when you need them there is a a bow rack, which I think I've got there. There's the bow rack on the B trail. I've still got to fit it to the A trail. It'll be on the opposite side. I don't think it's on there yet. No, it's not. We've still got to do it yet. So yeah, hope you like it, guys. You can get the combination with a drop deck B trailer as well as a flat top. It just depends on how you want it. Um, it's up to you if you want it with a drop deck or with the normal flat top, um, the B double. And the drop decks we do does come with ramps. I've got, uh, I've got two of them coming up today. So, yeah. So anyway, guys, like you. Thanks, James. How are you going with that excavator? Pretty big job, that one. So, yeah, guys. Um, hope you've liked it. I know it's only short and it was a bit late. I've been working on this all day trying to get it done. Had all the wiring to do on the bee trailer. So yeah, um, just got to get around to finishing it off. Just got a few things to do. All the gates come out, bows come out. Just got to lift them out. This will obviously be on the ground when you're doing it. it. Makes it a bit hard. So yeah, just take it all out. Put the bows in the bow rack, which is under here. Just sit them up in there like that. That'll all sit across. Probably make a lot of it in here. Since I'm doing a live feed. <laughs>